Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is grade three, module seven, lesson 25. And in this lesson, we're uh, still, we're doing this split thing between what's going on in class versus what's going on at home. Students are going to be in class, parents and teachers. They're still going to be uh, building that robot and answering questions about the robot uh, at home. And that's what this video is going to be about. It, the homework is still going to continue asking questions about rectangles and the perimeter of those rectangles. This time, though, they are, students are going to be given a nice picture of a, rec of a robot, and they're going to find the perimeters of all those different rectangles. This is not the same robot as the one they worked on in class, so let's get started. So here's our robot, and the idea is we are supposed to be finding the perimeter of all of these different rectangles and squares, but squares count as rectangles. Uh, we're supposed to be finding the perimeter of all these different rectangles in this robot. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do all of them, but I'll just start with a couple of these rectangles. So here's a rectangle, rectangle A, and you'll notice it's got a, it's four by four. So uh, four plus four plus four plus four. So a nice quick way of finding that perimeter is simply just doing four times four, which is equal to 16. So the the perimeter is 16. Uh, the traditional way or the classic way that we've been talking about in this module is simply to say two times the length plus the width, which is two times four plus four, which is two times eight, which is 16. So there's two different ways we could have thought about it. This is a nice little shortcut since there's four sides and they're all four centimeters, so four times four is 16. Uh, and this is kind of one of those rare instances where the area and the perimeter are the same. So parents and teachers, just because a student uh, gets the answer right doesn't mean they're right. It is possible that the student accidentally was thinking about area but found and got the area, the answer for the area instead of the perimeter, but because they're the same answer this time, 16, um, it's a little confusing, teacher, so be, uh, be aware of that. Uh, technically, if it was area, it would be se uh, 16 centimeters squared, but you just never know. So this is really kind of a tricky question, so be aware of that. Oh, let's do, oh, this rectangle right here, D. So here, we've got a length of 2 and a width of 5, so we know that our perimeter, our nice little handy-dandy formula for perimeter, Perimeter is 2 times the length plus the width. So that's 2 times 2 plus 5, which is 2 times 7, which is 14. So this perimeter is 14 centimeters. And just as a quick recap, what does that mean? That means the distance, oh, let's do it in blue. Uh, that means the distance around this entire rectangle because they want us to find the, the perimeter of each rectangle. So we are going to add these internal lengths right here. So uh, that distance all the way around is 14 centimeters. All right, so let's see. Let's zoom out. What else do we want to do? Oh my goodness. Well, we know, interestingly enough, we can see that D and E are the same rectangle, so we already have the answer to E. Um, oh, let's do C, because it's a big rectangle right in the middle. So we know, and I'm gonna zoom in here. So C, we know that our perimeter formula, and I'll do it in red this time, is two times length plus width. So that's going to be 2 times. Now the length is 8, and the width is 6. The length is 8, and the width is 6. So when we add those guys together, you're going to get 2 times 14, 
which is equal to 28. So the perimeter of that torso is 28. So what does that mean? Don't forget, we got to know what it means. It means if you were to add all four lengths, or if you were an ant and you were going to walk all the way around this body, you would have to walk 28 centimeters. And that's the idea for this lesson, straightforward for homework. You just have a bunch of practice finding the perimeter of a variety of different rectangles. And that wraps up grade three, module seven, lesson 25, having fun finding the variety of perimeters with a bunch of different rectangles.